Well, howdy tubers. Well, back at it again after not be, not doing anything on it yesterday because I went and did that fiberglass work on that party van of a friend of mine's. And uh, here comes Spikey. You got to go potty? Do you got to go potty? You just seeing where I went? Okay. So, um, anyways, then after that, call... I had to go over to my sister's and work on her toilet. And I guess I got a message from her last night. And I have, still haven't heard back from her. I may have to go back over there. I don't know what else is wrong. but So, anyways, in the meantime, I uh, had got the skins off and um, deburred them. And starting to go back together. And that's where we're at. So, uh, got, got that all deburred, and the side rail holes there deburred, and of course on the other side too, and still got to put that side rail back in, but, uh, yeah, you got to, Deburr, deburr this stuff, and of course, in vacuum and everything, uh, so that you don't have chips of aluminum in between each layer, I guess you'd say, so that it isn't holding the parts apart just, you know, ever so much. But, and of course, you're going to save weight. You ain't going to carry around all these chips that might, might amount to a, a gram. I don't know. I don't know how much chips would weigh in the grand scheme of things. But that's what we're after now. I may go ahead and give my sister a call since I haven't heard back and see. Uh, and then I don't remember if I, if I did because I get so many comments on what this junction looks like. Where are you going? Where are you going? There you That's a good spot. That's a good spot. So, he was up on top of that. We were probably 15 foot high, I guess. On top of that bus yesterday. Filling in that hole. Well, not filling in a hole, but covering up that hole with fiberglass mat I put uh, two layers and then it kind of sinked in a little bit and so I filled that up filled the little divot I guess you'd say with about two layers of fiberglass cloth or fiberglass mat and then on top of that fiberglass mat I put another pad or on top of that fiberglass there and then I put a, a piece of or another a third layer and that should should do the trick and so here we are I keep forgetting to show where we're at and of course I see that let's see yeah not till here do I go ahead and rivet all the way around bulkhead C so all I do is just leave the clecos in there and Keep on a trucking, but like I say, I think I'll go ahead and what is uh, get a hold of my sister if she's awake. So, but anyways, that's where we're at now, and hope everybody's doing good. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and there you go, and God bless.